Hi there, Geminis. So I have some pretty good cards coming out here for you guys. Um, just overall, a lot of opportunities for income generation, uh, collaborating with new people, um, getting, um, they're, they're saying like being hired for consultancy jobs or even, uh, you know, short term, um, small contracts types of creative jobs. Okay. So I feel a lot of people that might be like hairdresser, makeup artists. I also feel some people, you know, more in the corporate, um, financing, like types of environment where you have opportunities for consultancy gigs, where you have opportunities for, uh, kind of like venturing in and, and al aligning yourself, aligning yourself with, um, people that are in a, uh, similar, but you know, like in the same industry or similar industries. And then you can create something that is uh, more on a short term work contract or more on a consultancy basis and to increase a lot of, you know, your income ger uh, generating potential. So I feel like high income is coming through for the next two weeks. Uh, payments for services that you've done in the past, that's coming through in the, um, in the next two weeks, as well as opportunities to have new clients, to meet new people. I do see a lot of meet and greet, but I feel like these are not just social functions. It's kind of like uh, opportunities for you to kind of like put your name out there, put your image out there and put your brand out there. For those of you who have a brand, who are also ambassadors for a brand, for example, um, I'm also sensing that, you know, like you're, you're very, very busy and I feel like you, you have a lot of things going on for you socially and professionally, but you're taking some time off as well to brush up on something. So I feel like, um, you're looking at, you know, you're, you're studying. I feel like a lot of people studying the stock market, studying like where I should put my money, what I should do with my money. I have some disposable income. Should I, um, hire somebody to to manage it for me or am I better off doing it on your on my own and I feel like out of just the sheer sense even though you might not not have the time but I feel like you're taking this very seriously because of the sheer sense of intellectual you know curiosity you like to dabble in new things you like to learn new things and I, and so I feel like this latest venture might be learning um, about a new product so for example just for example, if you're a makeup artist or like a hairdresser, you're experimenting with new techniques, you're experimenting with some cutting edge technology or some new products, and you're trying to, you know, figure out how does this work? How can I use it and make it creative? How can I, you know, expand upon it? And so I see a little bit of dabbling back and forth, experimenting with something new, okay? And it, it looks good. It, it looks like you're going to have, you know, there's like a market for whatever it is that you're um, putting out there. And then for others, um, I'm sensing like you have a few dates, okay? Like um, a few people coming to solicit you for dates. And um, I feel like dates, because you're very busy and because there's a lot of things going on, dates are kind of cut short because you're busy. Um, you're going to have to turn down a few dates. You're going to have to turn down offers for going out mainly because you, there's other stuff to do. And then I feel like for some of you, you have one person, a really magnetic type of a person. And I feel like it, I, I'm sensing a, a strong fire energy. Um, so that is um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, sun, moon, or rising. And I feel like you like this person and other people, you know, you like this person, but for some reason you're not like exclusively dating them and, um, you know, they're going to be somewhere. And then you're just like, no, you, you're turning down like different dates so that you can go to that one place where you know that person's going to be. So I, I feel like there's that energy and it's, it's neither good or bad, but I, I feel like this person is very popular. They might be a little bit more on the flirtatious end. So just be careful. Okay. Just be careful. Okay. Gemini's, um, for others of you dating a, um, an earth sign. So I have here a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, arising. Be very, very careful about pregnancy. So it, it could be, you know, you're the one that might be, um, just be careful about pregnancy, use protection. But I feel like it's very, it happens really fast. It's very unexpected. It's really un, unaccounted for. So it's just like really, really fast. So slow down a little bit. If you are dating here, um, uh, an earth sign 
And, um, you know, their earth signs in general are not impulsive people, but I feel like this person might even be a mix between earth and fire. So they're a little bit more on the spirited end. Okay. And so just be careful about pregnancy from your end or from their end. Okay. Um, here's another thing that I'm sensing. Um, I just feel like the energy is a little, it, it worries me because while there are a lot of good things happening for you, your energy is really scattered. It's almost like you're lacking sleep. I feel like a lot of people um, foregoing sleep for fun and, and, you know, excitement, spending all night talking on the phone with your crush rather than getting adequate sleep and then uh, experimenting because you, you kind of like have a mind of a scientist. Um, when you're fully immersed in something, you can like stay up and for hours, kind of like that mad scientist Aquarius energy, you can stay up for hours tweaking it and you can forego sleep you can forego um you know food just to get things done so i i feel like you're completely absorbed in something that you're experimenting with that you're trying to to finish up or you're 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 doing something like a hobby and it's like taking all of your time so you know getting adequate sleep is really important okay so i feel like your energy is a little bit low but you're functioning on adrenaline so when we're functioning on adrenaline, it's fun and it's really exciting, but we might not be in the best position to make um, in the best position to make good decisions, and we might overlook something. So if you're experimenting, you might record the wrong data. You might, you know, um, attribute something to a causal effect without it being tried and tested. So you might you might like um, mistake something as the cause when in fact it's um it, it's that's not the right thing okay so i feel like you know looking over your figures making sure everything is sound and and just you know getting enough sleep don't stay up too late okay and um get yourself into more of a uh regular sleep pattern i feel like that's really important um i'm seeing a lot of investment opportunities and i'm seeing you know uh, money is on the uphill trajectory for you guys I feel like um, there is a person here in your environment that is really just um, you really you really like this person. And I feel like it's not a romantic partner, but I feel like it's a collaborator. It's somebody coming in with all these ideas and they're like, I'm going to take you there. I'm going to make you you know, famous. I'm going to I'm going to make sure that everybody knows your name and they're making a lot of promises. I would advise you to slow down a little bit you know, just make sure that they are up to snuff. Just make sure that they can deliver. Just make sure that you look through their work history to, to make sure everything adds up. Because I feel like they're, they're, yes, they have the best intentions. I don't feel it's a bad person, but they might be um, a little bit more on the, you know, big talk end of things. So you want to make sure they have evidence to prove it uh, based on, you know, other people they've worked with in the past. So it's like they're trying to make you, you know, they're trying to sell you this big, big, big dream and they know how to hook you, but just make sure you want to, you know, assess them, um, assess them like honestly, because I feel like they're very charismatic. They're, they have great stage presence, but they might not have the substance. Okay. To back up whatever they're saying, just be careful. That's like, a, a, a an agent or somebody who's, you know, um, very spirited coming at you very fast. And they're just like, uh, they, they know how to flatter you. They know how to flatter you. So just uh, err on the safe side with this person, okay? So I wish you the best here, Geminis. Things look good for the next two weeks. A lot of busy energy, so make sure you get yourself um, rested, okay? Take care of yourself. I'll be back in the August time frame for your August reading. Bye-bye.